HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good morning, HSC. I'm Marie Drastic. And I'm Katya Peters. And here's your news for May 1st, 2015. Today's announcements are sponsored by SkyZone. Looking for something fun to do this weekend? Check out Sky Jam and Sky Mania at skyzone.com slash fishers. Here are the top things that you need to know for today. The Film Production Club has been working hard to produce the all-student-made film, None of the Above. We're going to get some more information about this movie from Bryce Reef and myself. For the past few months, our very own Film Production Club has been hard at work brainstorming, writing, and finally producing an entirely student-made film titled None of the Above. To better understand the process and receive a synopsis, we talked to co-director Nick Kinder. It's dirty politics in high school. Uh, there are three candidates running for senior class president. There's Nathaniel Denton, played by Ari Meza. He's the brainiac. There's Amelia Vetter, played by Ashley Courtney. She's the popular girl. And then there is Henry Kessler, played by Connor Livingston, and he's the outcast. And throughout the movie, they try to one-up each other through like scandals and the way they campaign. It is turning out better than I thought it would, especially for a high school movie. To give us some insight into the characters they portray, we sat down with two of the lead actors, Ari Meza and Sam Adams. Hi, I'm Sam Adams. I'm a junior and I am Logan in the film. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Ari Meza. I'm a senior and I play Nathaniel Denton. Well, Logan is the campaign manager for Nathaniel. He's like kind of preppy, very down to business, no nonsense. Uh, Nathaniel is a nerd. Um, He's been class president for uh, seven years. This will be his eighth um, when he wins. Um, he's very conceited, I think. He's not really used to having competition and this sort of thing. He's generally uh, the dominant candidate. The movie is planned to be released May 22nd, and you can follow at Olio Road Productions for updates until then. For HSC TV, this has been Marie Drassic and Bryce Reef. Freddie Gray, whose death triggered Monday's riots in Baltimore, may have intentionally tried to injure himself in the police van, according to another pers prisoner on the vehicle. The Washington Post reported late Wednesday night. A former commander of U.S. nuclear forces says taking U.S. and Russian missiles off high alert might keep a possible cyber attack from starting a nuclear war, although neither countries appear willing to increase the lead time to prepare the weapons for launch. Retired General James Cartwright said in an interview that de-alerting nuclear arsenals could foil hackers by reducing the chance of firing a weapon in response to a false warning of an attack. Adding a longer fuse can be done without eroding the weapon's deterrent value, Cartwright said. Does the price of bottled water change the taste for you? Ben and Nick found out what other students' preferences are. Water. Everyone drinks it. Whether you drink it from the tap, water fountain, or a water bottle, it's all still the same, isn't it? When it comes to certain brands of bottled water, do some taste better than others just because the bottle looks a lot nicer or just because it costs more? We asked some students if they could tell the difference between different brands of water. We used Dasani, Fiji, and Ice Mountain. They tasted all the same, it was just subtle differences. Alright, so if you had to pick one to drink, which one would you drink? Which cup would you drink? Uh, anyone, but anyone? probably whichever one had Fiji in it. Okay. I think this one's Dasani. I think this one is um, Fiji, and then this one is Ice Mountain. I can tell that this one's Dasani because it has the most additives. Ooh. And it tastes the most bitter, I guess. But honestly, I can't distinguish these two. I think that one's Ice Mountain, and that one's Fiji. The last two students we surveyed correctly guessed the types of water they had in each cup. Even though the students correctly guessed which types of bottle were in each cup, they could barely tell the differences between the three cups. For HSE TV, this has been Nick Ricks and Ben Bertling. That is all we have for you today, HSC. Have an amazing day. Seniors, don't forget to submit your photos for the senior poster and video using the email hsctvroyals at gmail.com. Monday is the last day to submit your photos. Have a great weekend. Make good choices. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.